that tonight we're going to talk about QR codes, which uh, some people act like, you know, that they're brand new, which they're not. Um, some people act like it's not a useful thing, but it is. So I thought we'd just talk a little bit about the different ways that you can make QR codes work for you. And, you know, I think the problem for QR codes is they came out a little bit before this um, and that kind of worked against them. Um, but the reality is they're still here, they still work and actually are now easier to deal with because everybody's walking around with the computer in their pocket. Hi, thanks so much for coming by. My name is Kathleen and I am here as your tech coach. The short version of the story is um, I work it in... One second. <laughs> of course. Of course. Let me take care of this. That's done. And we'll do the other one. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Once more with feeling. <laughs> you forgot to remind me, Murphy. Ah. Uh, my associate forgot to remind me, my, my puppy dog, um, but I'm going to give him a pass because we've had fireworks since last Thursday and we're probably going to have them straight through the weekend. So he's a little stressed. Okay, it's all right, Murph. All right, let me start over. Hi, my name is Kathleen Sin and I'm here as your tech coach. The even shorter version is I do technology as my job. It's also my hobby. Because of that, all of my friends, family and neighbors come to me when they have a question, when they want help with technology, when they're looking for advice. Um, and through that, I've come to realize that not everybody has a resident tech in their life, so I'm here to help you out. So whether you're looking for help for yourself, um, maybe you have a hobby that you're trying to monetize and you're looking for some help there, maybe you have an organization that you're looking to get some uh, promotion going for, maybe you're a small, medium business, and maybe you're even working for a large company and you're looking for some help. Whatever the situation is, there's no question that you can't ask me about technology. Um, if I don't know the answer, I'm more than happy to go get it for you. Um, but the reality is uh, I am here to answer those tech questions that you wish you had somebody to talk to about. Okay? So, like I said, what we're going to talk about tonight is QR codes. And for those of you who are like, what the heck is that? Let me show you. Once I show it to you, you'll probably recognize them. So these are QR codes. Okay? So you've probably seen them around. You'll see them on packages. You may see them on signage. Um, they can be in a lot of different places. And the uh, short explanation is that they are, well, I guess it's a short explanation, but it's a little geeky. Um, they're what's called a matrix barcode. Now, barcodes you're used to seeing. That, that's the line of, here, I'll probably have a barcode on this, right? Okay, so hopefully this will be visible. So this here, oop, over here, um, is a barcode. Barcodes are on all products. There's actually other uses for them too. Um, but the difference is that a barcode is a one-to-many solution. So you have one barcode, which represents some sort of number, uh, the product ID or whatever, um, and that would apply to many different things. So for example, a bottle of ketchup. A bottle of ketchup is gonna have a, Q, uh, a barcode on it. Maybe a QR code also, but we're talking barcodes in the moment. It's gonna have a barcode on it, and all of those bottles of ketchup from that manufacturer in that size, if it has a, a special flavor or whatever, is going to be the same barcode, okay? The, difference with QR codes is it is a, also a unique code, but it is a one-to-one. -one. So whatever you build your QR code for, it is associated with one unique thing. And now that thing can be a lot of different things, which we'll get to in a minute, um, but that, that's the basic difference between the two of them. And a barcode is, you know, long, and as you can see here, the QR codes are square. So, uh, sorry, I lost my place in my notes here. Okay, um, so the other benefit to QR codes is uh, you can create them for free, very simply on the web. You can also, if you find yourself creating a lot of them, you can download um, applications, some free, some very small price. Um, and the reader for them, we're all carrying around. <laughs> so a lot of uh, phones now, um, on the, the um, a lot of camera phones can read QR codes. If somebody ha doesn't know how to use their uh, camera to use it, to uh, read the barcode, they can actually download apps. Again, most of them are free. That will do it for them. So it, really simple, lots of options, um, and easy and can be lots of fun to use, which we will get into in a minute too. 
Uh, if you look around, and I meant I did find a couple things around the house, and of course I left them out there. Um, but if you look around, you will see them um, on different things around your house. They're, they've been there all along. You just, if you don't look for them, you may not know that they're there. And in a lot of ways, you're missing out by not make, taking advantage of those. So, for example, um, this morning when I was making breakfast, um, that was the box I meant to bring in here, um, the butter has a QR code on it. And that QR code is linked to their recipes page. So when you take a picture of it, it brings up the URL that you click on and you go and you get that. Uh, you can also, well, well, let's get into that. So other ways to use them. So let me just make sure I got all the stuff here. So yeah, so if you're not paying attention, um, a lot of times people are using them for inside information. Um, sometimes like a show promotion site or giveaways uh, will have a QR code. And if you are smart enough to go and visit it, you may get a discount or you may get some inside information the next season. There's, there's all kinds of things that they use it for. Um, there are, they are also, also show up a lot of times on games. Um, so sometimes you can get cheat codes, that kind of things on it, or um, extra, you know, perks, uh, skins, um, items that you can buy in the game. Sometimes uh, you can get free or discount because you use the QR code. Uh, you can get discount coupons. You can get um, information. Um, so they're, they're extremely useful and they're super simple, which we'll get into. Um, but, you know, not something to be afraid of and something that if you make use of it and you let your audience, your customer, whoever know about it. Um, first of all, you know, your engagement will go up because, hey, you know, either they feel like an insider because they've got this inside information or you've made it really easy for them to get the information that they were looking for. There's no downside to this um, other than not doing it. <laughs> that's the basics. All right. So that, that's what Q, uh, QR codes look like. Let me come back here. Okay. Um, before we go any farther, I did want to remind you that if you have any questions, comments, show ideas, you have a topic you want me to cover, you can visit my website, uh, yourtechcoach.net. There's a contact form there that you can fill out. You can also, I thought I fixed that. Um, you can also reach me on Twitter at your underscore tech coach. You can DM me or you can just tweet at me. Uh, all I ask is that if you have a question and you need a fast answer, that you let me know that because I'll respond to you right away. Um, if it's just something that you're curious about or, you know, you need an answer to, but you don't need it right away, let me know that too. And then I'll either cover it in the next show um, or I will reach out to you if I don't have time in the next couple of shows to get to it quickly. Okay. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the how and why of the QR codes. They're such fun. All right. Hang on one second. Something just went wonky here. Okay. No, I don't know where you came from, but you're going away. We should probably talk about the fact that there's some weird stuff going on with some of the browsers. We'll get to that maybe. See how much time we have left at the end. All right. So, uh, let's talk about some of the things you can do with Q, uh, QR codes. So, I mentioned a few of them, but I'm just going to run through the list. The most common use for a QR code is to provide easy access to a URL. Uh, usually what happens is, you know, somebody's got a website um, and you can just use the QR code to send them to your website. It could be just that simple, just that easy. If you think about it, it's a nice way to help people find your website because they don't have to use the little keyboard to type it all in and then they mistype and it's frustrating. Um, or if they try to use, you know, the voice and then the voice misinterprets it, it's so much easier to walk up, go click, and it goes right to the website. Uh, you know, they feel smart and you look like a rock star, so that's just a big win and you're getting traffic to your site, which is what you were going for. You can also create a custom page on your website and use that as the QR code location and maybe you're going to, again, give them some inside information about some new product or service you're going to release. Um, use it as sort of like a what's new to encourage them to come back. You know, if you keep refreshing it and, you know, let them know that they should come back, they'll keep going back there. Maybe you want to give them uh, a special discount that only people who, you know, use that QR code get, you know. And again, when you make people feel special, that also works very well um, because it's, it's a nice feeling. Everybody wants to feel special. And if they're getting something out of it, that's all the better. And then word of mouth spreads and all that good stuff starts to happen. So that is far and away the most common use for it. That's not the only way to go, though. Um, so, for example, if you might have heard something called vCard, there's a couple of different formats out there, and it's all that really means is an easy way to exchange contact information. So a lot of salespeople will do it, marketing people will do it, um, 
it's a they will put it embedded into their emails or they put it on their business cards or whatever and it's just again it's a short way for somebody to get your contact information your name your address your email your phone number instead of having to type it all in you can just give them access to this file and their contact um, program will just suck it up and add you to their contacts list and vice versa um, so that's another good way to go with this kind of thing if you make a lot of contacts you want to make it easy for people to add you to their address book so that you know you there you are right there at their fingertips when they need to reach out uh connecting your qr code to a um, a v card is not not a bad way to go and they're real simple to put together um you can just connect it to um your email address again another easy way for them to reach out and get to uh, contact you so if they go to the qr code and they scan it it will then bring up um, their email program with your email address in there and they can send you an email real easy uh, SMS is another way to go you can connect it to your Facebook account your Pinterest account your twitch account um, Instagram whatever whatever account you're trying to encourage your audience to visit that's another way to go you can connect it to mp3 files you can connect it to your app in the app store um, you can connect it to an image you can connect it to a video so for example let's say that you provide a service or you provide um, some sort of you know physical goods so here okay so this is a gimbal right it's a phone gimbal so you put your phone in here and then you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it but let's say that I got this at a garage sale or I got this on eBay or something um, and I there was no instruction book or anything with it um, but let's say that there was a little QR code on the back or on the bottom of the base or something I could very easily take that picture and go get the instruction guide maybe go to a video that was provided to show me how to use it uh, you know all kinds i could be connected to their store to buy accessories for it you're starting to see all the ways that you could use this kind of thing and the beauty of it is it's free you can create as many of these qr codes as you want connect them to as many different resources as you want um, and it's all free other than maybe if you're paying somebody to create a video for you or to create uh, the extra web page for you other than that, I mean, talk about low cost of overhead for really high um, payback and customer engagement, customer satisfaction. Really hard to find a losing point on that. Um, I'm just checking in. Something just popped up here. I want to make sure everybody's okay. Yes. Okay. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. Uh, oh, Amy. Hi, Amy. How you doing? I Okay. So that's, thank you. That's another fantastic example. Um, so Amy mentioned that um, she's over on Twitch. Uh, that she likes it when brochures or flyers have QR codes on them. Absolutely. That's a great place to put them. So that's a perfect segue. Thank you, Amy. Um, let's talk about all the places you can put a QR code. And basically the answer is anywhere. Um, so you can put them on t-shirts. You can put them on business cards. You can print one out and stick it in your store window if you have a storefront. Um, you can include them on sales receipts. You can put them on your price tags. Uh, you can put them on hats. You can make stickers out of them. I mean, just on and on and on. Basically, anything that you can print to, you can put them on. Um, and it is. It's a great shortcut way. It's so much easier than, oh, you know, gee, I have to remember to go do that. Um, oh, you know, what was the, what was your URL? Was it this? Was it that? Did it, was it a full spelling? Did they drop letters? All that goes away because they just scan it and boom, they, they go to wherever it is that you wanted to target them. Um, so, yeah, that is a great resource. Um, and lots of flexibility. I mean, you put it on somebody's, you know, if you make, let's say you make t-shirts for your organization or for, you know, your company or whatever, um, you know, and maybe on the back or on the sleeve, you know, you put the little QR code and, you know, people are out wearing the shirt and somebody comes up to them and goes, what is that QR code? Oh, you know, it's, it's for this great company I like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just scan this. You'll get the information. They go up and boot. People become advertising for you, not just word of mouth, but hey, you know, they recommended you and then, hey, look, it's real easy. You can go and check them out a huge, huge win. So that is definitely something to think about. Um, I just completely dropped. Oh, okay. Right. So let's talk about some of the fun ways that you can use it. So, I mean, obviously, you know, you can do it to promote sales, to promote your website, um, to promote your organization if you wanted to do that. But there's some fun things that you can do with it too. Like, you know, you can do like a little scavenger hunt maybe, you know, and each QR code that they find leads them to the next one, which leads them to the next one. And then, you know, you have some prize at the end for people. Um, you can, like I said, if you put it like on the, your receipt or on your um, price tags or something like that, you know, only the people that are curious enough to scan it, you know, you, they can get, you know, maybe 
uh, discount. Maybe you're going to give them extra information. Maybe you've got a freebie that you can offer them. Freebies are another good way to go. You can put the barcode on those. So if you give away Frisbees, it's the summer. Maybe you're handing out Frisbees to people. You know, those little stress balls. Um, I don't know, pens. <laughs> Whatever it is that can be printed on, uh, you can put a barcode on. You could put a barcode on a birthday cake if you wanted to. <laughs> I mean, it really, could just your only limit is your imagination and how you want to put it together. So he says... Uh, Company uses them in dual authentication for web uh, soft web software login. Users didn't like it. Okay, yeah. Well, basically, users don't like dual factor authentication. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that it was so much about the QR code as it was that they don't like the extra step. Of course, we also don't like our accounts being hacked either. So that's sort of a tough position we put ourselves in. Uh, but that's not a bad use for it because it's right there in front of them. And so, you know, all they'd have to do to authenticate is to do that instead of having to go and find the code, you know, which is like the Amazon thing where it uh, SMSs you a code and then you have to wait for it to show up and put it in. So, I mean, I understand that the users didn't like it, but as far as uh, dual auth goes, it's not a bad way to go. So, yeah, so there are practical applications for it. There are just fun applications for it. There are money-making applications for it. And there's just spreading the word. Uh, it's because, you know, maybe, you know, you're going to be, let, let's say, for example, like I, I know people who are um, right now working, um, building their group because what they're trying to do is get more kids on bicycles. What a concept. <laughs> get kids outside doing things in the sunlight. What an idea. So they've been, you know, they, they're working with the schools and they're working with like, you know, local communities and all that kind of stuff. And so they're giving away, you know, little tchotchke kind of things to the kids that they like. Um, and they also are running events. So that's another great way to go. So let's say you're running an event, okay? You're running a promotion event. So like in this case, what they do is they go to like a park or whatever, and they tell like the local schools and all that <clears throat> to go ahead and, uh, you know, the, spread the word that they're going to be there. And, you know, maybe they're going to have vendors or, you know, cotton candy makers. You know, there's, there's usually some secondary draw for the members of the family who are not necessarily into the biking thing. Um, but generally these kinds of organizations are you know stretch a little thin you can never find enough volunteers or you know people volunteer and then something happens they can't come so instead of losing that opportunity to share information with people what you can do is just print out on you know just eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper and then you know tape them around the event area with a little sign on it saying hey you looking for more information you know click on this one have another one that says hey you want to sign up for our mailing list you know scan this one so that way, while whoever is doing the, the presentation and whoever is managing the crowd and doing all that kind of stuff is doing the thing that they're there to focus on, people in the audience are able to get the information. And the other benefit to it is some people will go to these things because they're interested, but for whatever reason, they don't feel comfortable going and asking the questions. You know, they don't want to be a bother or maybe they're just too introverted to go do it or maybe they're so busy running after their kids. There's a lot of different reasons. Rather than losing that opportunity by having these QR codes around, it makes it easy for the parent because they can go up, hit it real fast, even if they don't react to it right there, it's on their phone. So that when they get that two seconds of a break that most parents get once a day, <laughs> they can then go and click and follow up on it. So again, it just makes life easier. Um, do I have a favorite QR code scanner app? Um, to be honest, all I use is my camera now um, because the, the camera's got it built in. But there are a bunch of them out there. And give me one second. Of course, you know, you have to get it for whatever um, phone you have. So I really should have just started that. Although most of them, I'll, I'll bet. Oh, look at this. So here's, oh, that's interesting. All right, so here's one. Yeah, so I don't really have a, a favorite. Um, but if you go and just, I'm curious now how many lists come up. Uh, no, I don't don't want that okay so they've actually got one now i'm gonna bring this up which really shouldn't surprise me um but you, you can actually do this now from like oh maybe that's why i brought this <laughs> i know i brought this for a reason hang on let me bring the pip up um i know i brought this for a reason so laptop chromebook you know they all have cameras built into them so this website that i have up lets you actually scan qr codes from a device like this uh, you can also find them on your app store. So anyone that you go, okay, so like this one's got, you know, 4.7 stars and almost 30,000 ratings. I'd say this is probably a safe bet for you Apple folk. <laughs> um, and here's another one, and this is on the Android side of things. So let me say, this has got almost 60,000, and it's got almost a five, it's got like a four and a half star rating. So 
they're out there. They're super easy to use. Um, a lot of them actually have QR codes that you can scan to like, you know, install or upgrade. Um, but there's lots of them out there, so it's really not hard. Um, but I would start with your phone. I would take a look at your phone. I would just try it just as it is. Go up to, you know, when you find one, just take a picture of it and see if it automatically does it for you. Um, if not, look in your settings. Um, maybe it'll be in there. Um, another good one, which I'm pretty sure, now let me, let me verify before I say this. Um, I think it is... It's Google Lens um, is another one, um, which it's had other names because you know how Google is. But I think it works on both. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to tell real quick. I'm like 80% sure that this is available for both. Let me actually look. Standalone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If, if not, maybe, I, maybe I'm remembering that they said it's going to. Uh, let's just see here. Let's just see if it says here. Because a lot of the Google Assistant kind of stuff is available for just about everything now. Okay. Oh, oh okay. So this is why it's on my head. Um, it, they just made it a standalone um, in the Google Play Store June um, 2018. So like weeks ago. So that's why I, my brain was thinking of it. So uh, what must be happening is they must be about to bring it out. Let's see. Oh, nope. See, here it is. Okay, support for Lens and iOS version of Google Photos was made available in March of this year. So, yes, it is is both. So that's another good way to go. Um, if you are at all comfortable with the Google toys, and the odds are you are, um, if your camera doesn't do it right out of the box, um, then go ahead and maybe try the Google Lens uh, one. It, it's, it should be in both stores. Although it looks, on I, it looks like in iOS, it might be built into, what did I just say? Do, 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 do. Uh, it was built into Google Photos for iOS for Android it's standalone. Eventually it'll be standalone for iOS too. So yeah, it's super handy. Um, and like I said, if, if neither of those works, um, you can just go and hit your app store of preference, search for QR Reader, and just go for one that has lots of stars and lots of reviews, and that'll be a safe bet. Alrighty, uh, let's see, what else did I want to say? Okay, so we talked about like using it at an event. We talked about like using it if you have a storefront, um, if you are a service provider, um, maybe you have an Etsy store, uh, you can, oh, by the way, you can also put these on your website. <laughs> so like, okay, here's an example. So let's say that you are a crafter, um, an artist, and you sell things on Etsy or some store like that. Um, if you have a website, even if it's just one page promoting yourself, you can put your QR code there, which will give people easy access to go and shop in whatever your store is. I mean, you could also put a link there, which is totally fine too. I'm just saying it's just another way to do things. You know, let's say maybe they print out the page. People still do that. So let's say they're on your website and you're like, oh, I want to check this out. I'll, I'm going to, they're afraid they're going to lose it. You know, maybe they don't use bookmarks or maybe they have 80,000 bookmarks. So it's like not using them. So maybe they print out the page and, you know, tape it to the refrigerator for later. Well, you can't click on the link in the printout, but you can scan the QR code. So that's a good reason why you would, might want to have both of those. Um, so yeah, so that's that's another way to go. I would also, if you were an Etsy person, I would put it on the business card that you put in the package when you send it to somebody when they've made a purchase so that they come back and buy again or recommend you to a friend or buy gifts, you know, instead of stuff for themselves or buy stuff for themselves if they bought it as a gift, so on and so forth. Uh, let's see. So let's use some other examples. Let's say that you are a restaurant, okay? And, you know, whether we're talking bagel shop or takeaway or sit down restaurant, doesn't matter. Um, you could put um, QR codes on your menus so that you could provide like extra nutritional information or other information about your food that people get asked a lot. Maybe your weight stuff gets asked a lot. Um, not that you don't want your customers talking to your waitstaff, because you do, but if maybe they feel more comfortable just doing it themselves, or maybe your waitstaff is busy, you don't want to lose that sale, by having it as a QR code, they can quickly go and get the answer to their question. Real easy. Again, you could have one for information about the food. Maybe you have another for information about, you know, well, if you have special diets, you know, here's things we recommend, um, or here are the items on our menu that we can make work for your special diet. You can also offer again, you can offer the discounts. You can uh, give them maybe a download of your menu, especially your takeaway, that's a good way to go. Um, or if you're in one of those areas, like um, here there's a town that 
you know, as things have changed in small towns, has sort of become like restaurant row for this local town. So a lot of times, you know, like a nice nights like this, people will be like, oh, you know, let's go into town and find something. And they're checking out the new restaurants or they're not sure what they want. You could have your QR code on the front door and the window of your restaurant. And, you know, people you, you, back in the day, they used to have the, the uh, menus, um, you know, outside so people could decide before they came in. But let's say, you know, maybe you don't do that. You don't have the space. Your town doesn't allow you to hang that kind of stuff outside. There's a lot of restrictions these days. Or maybe your menu is so fresh and so different every day that it's just not really feasible to do that. Well, you could have a web page where somebody on your staff goes in every day and updates it. You've got the QR code in the front. They can scan it, check out your menu, and decide that they want to come in and eat. So it's another way to go. Um, you would also want to include it on any posters, billboards, any advertisements you put into, uh, I assume people still do this, like local, local newspapers, or like, for example, we've just been through and are still going through for some people, um, graduations. And so maybe you're a sponsor, and so you get an ad in the back of the yearbook. You get an ad in the back of the, um, what do they call it, program for the graduation. Have your little barcode in there, snap it, and go, hey, you know, after the graduation, you know, come in with this, you know, scan this, and we'll give you 10% off your meal. Uh, you know, again, easy, fast. People don't have to keep a hold of the program or remember it. They've already got it in their phone, ready to go. So that, I think, let me just double check. Uh, Amy says, I didn't realize the camera can do it natively now. Most of them can. On the newer phones, um, it's a pretty much a standard now that a lot of them can do it. Um, you know, there's always the exception to the rule. <laughs> um, but I, that's what I tell people to do now is to just start there. No reason to load another app on your phone if you don't need it. Um, if it's built in and you're ready to go, might as well use it. Okay, so uh, let's keep going here. Get my list back. This time of day, I don't rely on my memory. Okay, so we talked a little bit about um, if you want a restaurant. I mean, that's just, you know, the, the tip of the iceberg. But I'm hoping that kind of gets the ideas flowing. So let's talk about, you know, another uh, group of people. Let's say you're a realtor. You can absolutely use this. Um, again, put it on your web page. You know, it makes it easy for people to get, you know, the information about the realtors in your office. You know, how to contact them, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can do another one that takes them to a page where they could, you know, put an email address so that they get notified about new listings in their area. Uh, you can put it on the brochures for the house, whether that's like a one page or, you know, a, a fold up kind of brochure. Um, just in case, you know, that there's too much information to fit on that one sheet or if there's other information you want to provide access to. So, for example, um, a lot of times when people are looking to buy a house, they want to know about, you know, well, is, you know, the mass transit, what, what mass transit is available or, you know, what's the um, entertainment options in the town or, you know, what about, you know, the kids' schools? How are they rated and, you know, are there after school activities? That's a lot to put into a brochure and it's information that probably changes a lot. So what you could do is just put a QR code on the page that brings them to maybe a, a web page where you've got all the up-to-date information and all that kind of stuff. You're making their life easier, which is going to make them far more loyal to you. You're providing information that could definitely, you know, close the deal for you, assuming that the house is good and the price is good and all that kind of stuff. So those are just a couple ideas for that. Um, let's say that you work in the healthcare industry. You could put, um, you know, these codes around to provide information about privacy, uh, you know, the HIPAA standards. You could put them in the waiting room to give uh, the people who are there, um, you know, access to the Wi-Fi, right? Because especially like if there are kids involved or if somebody is coming with the per person who's coming in for the healthcare services, that person's going to be sitting there in the waiting room for a long time. Make it easy for them to keep themselves entertained and keep the stress level down. These are all good things. Um, if you like to provide information to people, you know, not everybody wants to carry this stuff out. Maybe it's embarrassing. Maybe they just don't want to be dealing with it, or maybe they're stressed out and so they they left it behind. Um, but if they had, you know, snapped the QR code, then that information is available to them and they can go get it. And again, of course, I mean, for all these things, you know, put it on your business cards, put it on your invoices, uh, on your bills. Uh, you know, these things you can make them really small. <laughs> they don't have to take up a lot of room, but they can be very handy. Um, we talked a little bit about, you know, people who are artists or creators or whatever. Um, this is also handy for authors, writers, um, performers. You know, so let's say that, you know, you've written a book, okay? And, of course, you know, the publishing industry has changed dramatically, for good and bad. 
Um, so if you want to get that out there, of course, you're going to, now you're going to build a website. Maybe you want to put a QR code there to give them access to like a free chapter. Maybe you want to, you know, put some, you know, flyers or brochures around in town with that same type of thing on it. Let's say you're a performer. Let's say that you are, you know, maybe a person, you know, goes out with their guitar and plays and sings. Well, you don't have time to do your performance and work the crowd to let them know about your next event or who you are or what kind of music you do or that you're available for events and that type of thing. But again, you could print out a piece of paper that you just tape, you know, somewhere where they can see it, maybe put a couple around, depending on how big your audience tends to be, and they can go and get that information and have that shared. Perfect example of this. Um, somebody Amy and I know <laughs> um, did a stream the other day um, yesterday for the fireworks and they, they brought us along and they were you know virtually brought us along and where they went you know it was a big gathering for the town and there were these bands playing and everything and there's one band in particular like all of us on the stream were like oh my god these people are awesome who are they you know where do they play all this kind of stuff now they didn't have a QR code um, so our friends you know had to check I think it was in the, uh, the uh, program for the events for the night um, you know they had it listed but how much easier would it have been for all the people that were up dancing that maybe wanted to you know hear about them they could keep dancing take the picture and keep on dancing and enjoying the music make it easy for your audience for your customers to find you to find out what you offer to maybe get that you know first trial free kind of thing or that special discount that gets them using your service if they're kind of on the fence that makes a big difference sometimes make it easy for them to share that information all this comes from this little tiny thing here let me bring this up again so you've got this little square that comes in all these different you know you can make it whatever size you can actually if you look here let me zoom in a little bit I mean people get quite creative because these codes are actually quite um, forgiving. So people put art in them. I've seen them with corporate logos in them. Now you have to be careful. You could, if you're going to do this kind of stuff, you're going to want to test it and all that kind of stuff, but you can be creative with it. You can do them in different colors. You can do them in different sizes. See, like you see these over here, it's got the, the Facebook logo, the Twitter logo. Why not make use of something that is that easy and free? Live bands are a great idea for cute markets. Absolutely. Especially I always think about like, you know, like when you go into this, the city, you know, you always see the buskers out there, you know, whether they're just singing or they're playing an instrument, um, you know, or maybe sometimes it's a whole band. Um, sometimes you get like performance art. Um, you get those uh, people, I, they do it in the city, but I, I tend to think of um, New Orleans when I see the, the, the human statues, the living statues. Well, the whole point of being a living statue is not talking, not moving. But you also want people to, you know, donate and to know about you, maybe hire you for a corporate event. I worked in a store years ago that hired them for store openings. Um, again, QR code, you know, a couple of them with a title on it, you know, hey, for more information, you know, hey, I do events, you know, or hey, to donate to my PayPal, <laughs> you know, combine all these things, okay? So you can have a QR code that lets people, instead of throwing money into a hat, actually make a donation on, you know, PayPal or whatever service you use, Vimo, Vimeo, whatever it is. Um, again, it, this is all, you can make it easy for people to do things that you want them to do, but also that things that they maybe want to do anyway. So why not go ahead and do that? Okay, let me just check my list again here. I think I got those covered. Let me see, we're a couple more on here. Okay, so just to quickly run through again, some ideas on how, where you can put these. By no means, this is this all of them, but just some of them. So you can put it on outdoor signage. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Um, you can maybe put them by certain products if you're in a store, you know, to get a special discount on that product. Or you can put it by the register to get a percentage off or, you know, to get a free, you know, pen or whatever it is that you're offering. At networking events, great way to make sure that people can get information. Um, that's actually another one. I was at an event several years ago um, when QR codes were still hot and when they gave us a badges in addition to, you know, your name and all that, there was a QR code so that when you started talking to somebody, you know, if you felt like, you know, you wanted to continue the conversation after the fact, instead of having to fumble for a business card or writing down on a piece of paper that you know was going to get lost, everybody was just snapping the QR codes. It was kind of a cool way to do it. Um, you know, put it on business cards, put it on t-shirts, put it on giveaways, uh, you know, put it on kites, <laughs> you know, whatever it is that you can think of that's, that's something you can do. Connect it to your contact information, your website, a 
special promotion. Um, you can put it on, you know, uh, use it to give access to your podcast or your live streaming show. Um, you can have it connect to a download of a PDF file for information. Uh, like I said, you can use it for, um, to get payment for that kind of thing. Um, it's just, it's amazing. It's one of those things that once you start doing it, you're like, wow, okay, well, how else can I use this? And if you are looking to create them, let me bring this up again. Just go into a search. Let me bring this up a little bit bigger. Okay, so if you do a search for QR code generator, um, 13 million plus <laughs> options. I'm sure you could find one you like. Uh, I'm just going to open up the one, top one at the top. And so here it is. It's, it's this easy. Okay, you pick what it is that you want to connect it to. If it's a URL, you want to have that page created so you know what that URL is. You can connect it to your Facebook account, whatever you want. We'll just use URL. You come in here and you just type it. Okay. And coach.net. Okay. Um, static and dynamic. You could read it if you want to. Most of the time, static is going to be just fine for you. Um, you can, you know, select how you want it to look. Do you want it to have this little frame on it with the little instructions? or you want it just to be a code that you can plop anywhere? The format you prefer, JPEG is fine. And you click the link. And there it is. And you can download it. And you see here there's even an option to add your logo. That's it. That's how easy it is. I mean, there's few things in life that's really that's this, this easy. And as I said, if you want, you can actually get, if you find yourself doing a lot of these, and you can, they're free. Um, you can go ahead and download an app if you prefer to you know, have it at your fingertips all the time and not have to go to a website. Could not be any simpler. So let me see if anybody has any questions. QR codes on conference pages is smart. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could put it on, you know, your kids school books, you know, so that people can scan it, you know, and find which one is theirs. I mean, it just, <laughs> it's one, like I said, it's one of these things, the ideas just start to flow as you start to use it. It's, it's. It's fun, it's entertaining, it's useful, and I'm so sorry I forgot to check comments on Periscope, so give me one second here. I'll give everybody else a chance to let me know if they have any questions or comments or ideas that they want to use. No, we're good here, okay. Um, so I think that's going to wrap it up, which is good because we're getting into the window again when we might have some fireworks here, so I should go out and keep the puppy company. He's so cute. He's being such a trooper. Oh, it's been so hard, um, but he's really been quite good. That thunder shirt, I know it doesn't work for all the dogs. Fortunately, it works for him. It's not that he doesn't notice the fireworks, but um, it, it takes the level way, way down, which is nice. All right, so it looks like everybody is good. We are, let me say more messages below. We're good here. We're good here, awesome. Okay, so just as a reminder, I am here to answer your questions. That's what I do. <laughs> So if you have a question about anything technology related, if you are thinking about buying a new phone, you want advice, uh, you're interested in the smart uh, watches, the, the Wear OS kind of things, um, but you want somebody to talk to you about it, let me know. Um, if you are, I don't know why these are flying away so fast. Um, if you are running a business and you know, like you're overwhelmed trying to run your social media and having to go on all these different accounts, I can help you automate it. There's all kinds of ways to do that. Don't be shy. Reach out. Let me know. So I am at I am your tech coach um, at gmail.com. Um, and you can reach out to me there anytime you want. Uh, if you need a fast answer, let me know and I will respond back to you that way. Um, if you can wait, let me know and then I will uh, use it for the next show. The other thing you can do is you can go to my website, which is your web webcoach.net. Let me try that again. Your tech coach.net, not web tech. Um, I've got to fix these. And if you don't like that, you can go to Twitter. I am your underscore tech coach there. Um, you can tweet at me, you can DM me, whatever you like. Like I said, just let me know what your question is and whether or not you need an immediate answer or if you can wait for the next show. Alrighty. Other than that, I think that covers it. Um, I will probably be out on um, Twitch again, either probably tomorrow night, just hanging out. So for you folks who are on Twitch and want to just come and hang out, um, Feel free. Uh, if you uh, like this content, if you're finding it helpful, please 
share, let everybody know. Um, also, make sure that you like, follow, turn on notifications, all that kind of good stuff. That way you'll know when I go live. I always do the show Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, um, but I jump on uh, other times too just to check in and say hi or if there's something going on that I think we should talk about um, or if I'm just playing with something and I want to share. It's all good. So uh, please make sure that you uh, follow so that you get to join in on these other, you know, more on the fly ones. Um, and uh, definitely, I hope that you will come back uh, next week and join us at uh, on Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, so I'm on Periscope, on Facebook, and on Twitch right now. Um, that may change over the next few weeks. I'm trying to figure out where is the best place for the show these days. Um, so we'll see. You know, life has changed. So stay tuned, and we will uh, we will stay on top of things, and we will keep chatting. And don't be shy. If you have a question, please don't, you know, I won't divulge your name or who you are if you don't want me to. Um, but, you know, look, the whole point of life is we're all here to help each other, okay? When it comes to things with my car or the electricity in my house, I don't do it. I reach out to somebody I know knows stuff about this. Just so happens in this case, technology is my thing. So I am very, very happy to be able to help anybody who needs the help. All right? Thanks so much for coming by. I'm so psyched that you were here. I hope we will talk again soon. Have a good one. Bye.